before God takes you to the next level, your character has to be tested and tried. What is character? Character is um, just how you feel, think, and behave. And before you are promoted, before you are moved, your character has to be pruned, cleansed, and cultivated. In certain situations, um, some of you all may be in now, you feel a stagnation. You can sense and you can feel and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that it is your time to go to the next level. You know it's your time to be promoted, whether it be at your job, whether it be in ministry, whether uh, there is going to be soon a shifting of power within your family. Maybe you lost some people in the family and a certain level of power is going to be shifted and moved to you. In situations and scenarios like that, the way you think, act, and behave is major because if your character is when you don't have a lot or when you have struggled for so long or you have never been given a title or you have never been in a position of power or influence or prestige or you have never made a certain amount of money or you have never had certain connections if your character has not been cultivated cleansed purified and pruned you could possibly mess up every single thing not only that you may be planning for your life and future but you can mess up the blessing that God is about to give you and send you. So I'm making this video message to let you know, it's not strange and it's not weird that you may feel some type of stagnation. It's not strange, it's not weird if you feel like you're not moving ahead at a certain pace. It's not strange and it's not weird if you can feel strongly deep within yourself that it is time for you to do something it's time for you to go to a higher level and elevate and evolve but you're not clear on how to get there you're not sure when it's going to get there and you don't really understand things around you that are going on you don't have the clarity on it i just want you guys after you watch this video message to start to pay attention and ask yourself, what is your character? There are some people, they are very humble when they are struggling. They are very humble when they're accustomed to making a low amount of money. They are very humble when they don't have certain um, connections to more prestigious and important people. And they are very appreciative. They are grateful and they are willing to go the extra mile to assist and to help other people. But the second that they are elevated and they make more money, the second they are elevated and they get a different title, the second they get any taste of fame or any taste of different levels of fortune, sometimes people characters turn out to be very disgusting, arrogant. Uh, sometimes they be believe that those that are around them or they feel they are inferior to them and underneath them, they will mistreat them. So I just want you guys to know in this video message that your character is everything. Work more on your character. Work on how you think. Work on how you behave. Work on how you treat people now versus when you get a little bit of power. Have you ever seen someone that gets a certain amount of power and they become a monster or they become a demon? They start to look down on different people. They start to talk about and laugh at other people. They totally forget about where they came from they forget about how they struggled they forget about when they were making 15 17 18 20 an hour 
Some people forget about that. Some people forget about they slept on a floor or slept on someone's couch. Some people forget about the fact that they had a car that was in really bad condition. So I'm telling you guys today in my video message that before you go to the next level, you have to understand and know, if you don't know anything else, that God, he is going to work on your character. This is why God says in his word, when the time is right, he will make it happen. So sometimes when things are not moving ahead in your life and when you don't have clarity or understanding as to why you're not going to a higher level or things are not necessarily working out the way you want it to work out, it could just simply be that your character is a mess. Even on the job, even in ministry, even within your family, certain uh, power will not be passed to you. And um, certain opportunities and doors will not open for you by the hands of other people because they simply know your character. They can sense and see arrogance in you. They can tell in your speech how you talk. That the minute that they promote you or the minute they allow you to be introduced to somebody that is very prestigious and powerful, you will not be able to handle it. So I just want you guys to know that character is everything. Character is very important. And I want you to work on your character if it is not where it should be. Start to pay attention to who you are when nobody is looking. Pay attention to how you treat people when you're struggling versus when you come out of that struggle and you're making more money or you start to gain notoriety and popularity for whatever it is you're doing. How are you treating people? How are you talking to people once you get put on? Are you willing to turn around and lift your other brothers and sisters up or people that are struggling and in need? Are you a selfish person? When you were broke and humble, you were willing to share the little that you had. But now that you're making hundreds of thousands of dollars or you're you're um, in a position where you know important people that could put you on and they can shop your album around or your book around or, you know, you can cook or do hair or whatever it is that you do. How are you treating people once you get to that level? Are you a totally different person? Have you turned into an ugly, evil man or woman once power and position has shifted in your life because even if you're held back by other people and they're hesitant when giving you that just understand that when God works on your character and he is really ready to elevate you in due time and season it's always pure and it's always perfect if you get the wrong things too soon if you get a certain amount of money too soon, if you get the new position at your job too soon, if you get even the man or woman that God has ordained to come into your life, if you get it too soon, you can possibly mess up everything and destroy the very blessing that God had for you. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. I will try not to stay away from you soon and the Lord willing, I will be back with another video message. And remember, if you have been offended by anything I've said today, don't worry because you will forgive me in the morning.